Okay, so hello. Thank you for joining me for this video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the vertex in Aries. Vertex is really the highest points of our charts. A lot of people overlook the vertex. If you look up your birth chart, it has what your vertex is going to be. Okay. It says vertex and it says in what time. Yes. So the vertex, I'm let me let me tell you with the vertex and Aries. Okay. And I probably have to say this for every video so you guys catch on. That's why I say if you're really wanting to learn more about astrology and how the energy works. Just go ahead and watch all of the signs for any placement. It doesn't really matter. But um, vertex and Aries. Okay, so here we go. The highest part of this chart is Aries, right? But the thing about it is people with vertex and Aries, they're trying to get away from those Aries-like energies. They don't want to really amplify Aries. They want to be Libra, Okay. They want to be about relationships. What's fair in relationships? What is right? They want to make everything fair, everything right. They want to make important decisions based on what a partner thinks or what others think sometimes. <laughs> not, I mean, not for nothing. A, a lot of the vertex energy shows up within us anyways no matter how much we try to avoid it it's it's always like a subconscious aspect there just like okay you know go go and be the leader go and express yourself you know but for the most part people with vertex and aries feel comfortable playing the libra role and it could be very hard for people with vertex and libras to just make decisions it's Especially if they feel like it may be contrary to others. All right. But the vertex in Aries, what they should want to work more towards or what they should work to work more towards is stepping up, making decisions, <laughs> you know, leading situations where even if they feel like it's not their place to lead it the uh situation leading the situation anyways making themselves important being a little selfish sometimes people with vertex and aries can sometimes give away too much of themselves or too much of their energy because they want to deal in partnerships Vertex and Aries also have to understand and be able to see that life is not always fair and life will never be fair. And a lot of situations happen in Vertex and Aries lives to that that's unfair or seem unfair to them. And it's hard for them to get out of that position because, you know, they can build a certain resentment. And I don't even think it's necessarily resentment towards others, even though it can come off that way. It could just be towards the world, towards life, period. And you know what? You guys can have a very big cause or quite interesting cause or significant cause that you stand for or you can stand for because of the fact that you expect some type of justice even for yourself. And coming up and being that leader and being bold enough to speak on it and being bold enough to lead by example could be just that very thing that you're being pushed to do. And sometimes just making the decisions that you want to make and just saying, okay, this is what it's going to be. And this is where you're called sometimes to take the lead in partnerships, things of that nature too. And you guys can organize things really, really well. Organize things really well and take your art and your eye for creativity there is a lot that you can do with that. And a lot of times people will expect you or they want to see you lead. They'll say, you know what? Vertex and Aries, you got a good point there. You're very creative there. You're talented. You can speak very well. Have you thought about 
speaking at the seminar, leading the class, huh? Starting your own fashion boutique or something. Have you ever thought about that? Because we want to see what you have. And Vertex and Aries is kind of like, I don't know if I want to do it. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, we want you to do it. Vertex and Aries. You can really get your body in shape. You can really get this beautiful physique, image, all that um, through the energy of Aries. Because Aries can be very athletic and like, okay, on the go. Move, 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 move. You can utilize that energy. Like, find some type of workout routine or sport. Anything where it's interactive and competitive to get into and you will master it. People will love you for it. People want to see you in that position. People want to see you in that place. Competition. Stop giving up your right to win sometimes. Like, y'all could be very passive aggressive because you'll know, listen, I can win in that. I can beat this person. I can do this. I can do that. But you won't do it. You know, you'll be like, okay, well, I, I don't want this person to feel bad. Like, if I let them, if I, if I beat them, I, you know, and it's like, no competition you guys keep coming up with people competing against you all the time is because you really need to show up you need to be competitive you need to beat them out or you need to lose one good time so it can push you to the next level however you want to put it competition is your friend you will find that people compete against you or you're put in competitive situations and seeing like okay what is this person's attitude whether they win or whether they lose but Vertex and Aries, still, Vertex and Aries is causing calling for you to be the leader. And sometimes it's not being a leader by just being in front and saying, do this, do that, do this, do that. Sometimes you have to lead through example. Being competitive, <laughs> especially in a healthy way. Being the face of a cause. And if you're not the face of it, you're in the background running it. Maybe you don't have to be the face. You have a lot of energy. So utilizing that energy in a very physical way. And sometimes you have to be the person to stand up and say, I'm making this decision. I'm making that decision. And this is what it's going to be. Because people around you count on you to do it. Okay? So this has been Vertex and Aries. I'm Butterfly to Life. Make sure you subscribe. Boom.